Hello, it is 1.25 p.m. on May 24, 2021. Today's the three-year anniversary of a report I sent to the Texas Health and Human Services. Um, as I have said, there are other reports that were submitted around this time frame, but while it was not this specific report that referred me, I am going to make note of the fact that in June of 2017, prior to filing this report, I attempted to contact the Texas Veterans Commission about very important matters and allegedly was sent an electronic letter with the names of members of the executive committee and allegedly under the auspices of the executive committee of the Texas Veterans Commission referring me to the Texas Health and Human Services Commission. I had already contacted the Texas Health and Human Services Commission. As a matter of fact, not only had I already contacted them, but I had been issued report numbers from them in 2017. To this day, I've received no response to any of those open reports, and I've received no closeout reports. And so far as the Texas Health and Human Services Commission was connected to the Federal Health and Human Services Commission, I understand they would have qualified for what existed at the time I first contacted them as an executive order requiring all federal contractors engaged in any sort of contract bidding through the federal government to report on any allegations or pending allegations of fraud concerning their organization within the previous three years.